Hey, tornado on the ground. Hey, we got a tornado on the ground, Gary. Tornado on the ground. Tornado on the ground. Tornado on the ground. Hey, tornado on the ground. Tornado on the ground, Gary. Tornado on the ground. Tornado, Gary. Gary, we got a tornado. Foul. Yes, we, we tornado on the ground, Gary. Tornado on the ground. Kitchen. Uh, tornado, tornado on the ground, Gary. And uh, we're looking southeast at it. If you have our position, uh, we're northeast of Nash, a, a little ways, looking straight southeast at it. It was a, a stovepipe, a pretty good sized tornado. Touched down very, very quickly. And uh, now it's in the process of lifting but uh, I guarantee you there's rotation there. Okay, the tornado has lifted right now. At least the funnel part of it is lifted, Gary. Uh, strong rotation still. The funnel has lifted. It was on the ground for about three minutes, three or four minutes. Uh, looked like a pretty strong tornado to me, Gary. Damn it. Oh, big tree. Okay, look out that way. See the lightning just. Whoa! Whoa, Gary! Gary! Oh. That's big. Get your camera. Gary, 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 Gary! Oh, it's large. Okay. Gary! Gary, Gary, Gary! 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 Hey, Gary, it's Val! Gary! 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 Hey, can somebody hear me? Can somebody hear me? Hey, 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 hey! Hey, can somebody hear me? This is Val! Hey! Gary! I think I see debris on yeah, the ground. Too. Hey man, I was trying to get you guys' attention. We've got a very large, um, it, all, it looks like it's on the ground, humongous wall cloud with this storm. Yes, I was on the get there. I was yelling at Gary, and no, I, he couldn't hear me at all. Okay, well, uh, put, uh, let me talk to Gary real quick. This thing is big, big, big. We need this, we're gonna come to a front. We gotta go east. Hey, we got a big, big, big possible tornado on the ground. And this thing is wedge-shaped. It's uh, the, the funnel is almost all the way to the ground, and we've seen debris. It looks like I'm almost positive it's on the ground. It is a huge wedge-shaped thing. We just ran through damage, too. Okay. Okay, and we also ran through another damage path, also. Okay. It, it's going to try to produce a wedge, it looks like to me. Fred. More damage. More damage. Well, we're, um, it's, it's a dirt road, and uh, we're still five miles south of Highway 11, and now we're one, two, three, four, five, about six miles um, west of Jefferson. Whoa, Gary, this is a large, wide path here. We're, we're going across the damage path that's pretty wide. I'm trying to go through the ditch to miss it. Well, I think so, if there's no telephone poles in our way here. But this is, I mean, there's, this is a, this is a, at least a quarter of a mile damage path. I might not make it through this. Oh, my word. Uh, there's a tree across the road. How's the ditch look on that side, Amy? It's okay. Are you sure? I don't want to get stuck. I want to go over this tree. Oh, my God. Wow, that was okay. wide. Uh, hit my mat for me. Okay, we're gonna go on. Oh, another huge okay, tree. Our road? Our road? It's a huge tree. Crud. Oh my 
I'm not going through that. Good grief. Gary, Gary. It's a large wall cloud right okay. over here. Too. Gary? Hey, Gary. We gotta go east. Okay. We got an east road coming up. Gary. Why can't he hear you? I don't know. Can you hear me, Gary? Yes, uh, Gary, we have got quite possibly a large tornado on the ground. I've seen some power flashes uh, to our northeast. It looks like it possibly could be a large wedge-shaped tornado on the ground. Um, and now, Gary, we've got, uh, it, that area is starting to wrap up in the rain to our northeast, and now we've got another large wall cloud forming just to the south of the rain shaft, uh, which is gonna be to the northwest of Jefferson, probably about four miles. So northwest of Jefferson, about four miles. And I gotta tell you, Gary, we've come across the damage path of this storm, and it's it's at least a half a mile wide damage path from this storm over here, Gary. Okay, if you can hear me, there's I believe there's two circulations with this storm. I think there's two circulations with this storm, Gary. Um, just like... You know, we're gonna go east still. Um, I think there's two circulations with this storm. The first one is further to the north, kind of halfway wrapped up in the rain, and the second one is wide open, and it is to our east, northeast, and it's gonna be just northwest of Jefferson. Man, I tell you, I have seen some large trees knocked down. So big we could not go through it. I think, I think the south wall cloud is going to produce again. Yes. That's right. That, that's exactly where it is. It, it's developing. It's getting larger, and I think that's the, where the new one's going to be. Well, I hope I don't come across that damage path again. We won't get through. That was that was pretty major. To the ground, Gary. Tornado, tornado on the ground, Gary, and this is going to be one, two, three, two and a half miles southwest of Medford, Gary. Tornado on the ground. It just now touched down, and it, it's a good-sized tornado, Gary. Tornado on the ground right there in the center of the shot, um, about two and a half miles southwest of Medford. And this thing is not moving real fast. Uh, it's not moving real, real fast, but it does look like it's kind of moving in the general direction of Medford or maybe even the south part of Medford, Gary. But uh, this is a this is a pretty pretty good sized tornado uh, on the ground, about two and a half miles southwest of Medford. We've been watching this wall cloud rotate strongly now for the past 10 minutes. Uh, it hasn't moved probably three or four miles in 10 or 15 minutes. So not moving real fast, but the tornado is on the ground to our northeast. It's about a mile northeast of us. And this is gonna be about two and a half miles. I'm gonna estimate two and a half, maybe three miles uh, southwest of Medford, Gary. Yeah, yeah that's, that's kind of what I gather. The whole wall cloud has been moving northeast towards Medford. Uh, I kind of think that it, it, uh, it might, uh, based on the direction of movement and where Medford is right now, it almost looks like to me it might possibly pass a little south of Medford, but it's gonna be cutting it real, real close. Real close. This tornado is still on the ground. I can see debris.
Whoa. It's Bobby. Yes, uh, Gary, Bobby, it, it is west of the plant, Bobby, west or west-northwest of the plant, probably at least three-quarters of a mile, maybe a mile or so. I see the plant you're talking about. We're looking at it from the southwest to the northeast, and uh, yeah, you're exactly right, Bobby. Anybody near Medford needs to take cover now. It's still on the ground. It's on the ground. It's on the ground. It's on the ground still. It's solid on the ground. You're right, it looked like it was trying to rope out just for a second, uh, but you know, the, the parent circulation above this thing is, is cranking. I mean, it is spinning hard. Uh, you know, this the, the tornado at times tries to get bigger, Gary, but it is solid on the ground right now. We can actually see a pretty sizable debris cloud. Uh, I haven't seen any power flashes in the past minute or so, but uh, pretty good sized debris cloud. And the tornado is shaped, uh, I'd say pretty much like a stovepipe. Straight up, yes sir. Yes. Uh, Gary, it's southwest of Medford, and you know what? Since we've been talking, it is moving directly northeast, possibly even north-northeast a little bit. So it, it now appears, Gary, it might be moving more towards Medford at the moment. Earlier, it was moving more towards, you know, the northeast. It's going to move south of Medford, but now, Gary, from since we've been watching it, it has moved directly away from us, and this would be slightly north of due northeast. Uh, if that makes sense. Slightly north of due northeast is where it's moving. And it's moving right towards Medford. It's bigger. It's bigger, Gary. It's getting bigger. It is. It's getting bigger. It is. It's bigger. Big debris cloud. If you could see our streaming, Gary, I don't know if you got our streaming. Uh, the plant is south of Medford on the highway, Gary. The plant is south of Medford about uh, two and a half miles. And this is west. Yeah, this is west of Medford. Um, the, the, the tornado is west of the plant about a mile, probably northwest of the plant now, Gary. Probably about a, at least a mile northwest of the plant. And it's slowly moving right towards Medford. As a matter of fact, I mean, it's probably, I'm going to I'm gonna guess, it's going to be about two miles southwest of Medford. Let's go north. That's right. Hey, uh, Bobby's right. There is a violent circulation around the whole tornado. It it might become bigger. Okay, I think we just saw a power flash, Gary. Just saw a power flash. Uh, the tornado is northwest of the power plant, about, I'm going to say, a mile and a half to a mile and three quarters. Um, it is slowly moving directly northeast towards Medford. I'm going to say it's about two and a half miles southwest of Medford, maybe two miles southwest of Medford right now, Gary, moving right towards Medford. Uh, it's uh, The tornado has gotten just a little bit smaller at the moment. Uh, it's become a little bit narrower. I still see debris on the ground uh, at the base of it. Uh, still strong rotation around this whole wall cloud. But we've seen this tornado get smaller and bigger cycle back and forth, but it's been on the ground now for about 10 minutes or so at least, Gary. You want to move? Yeah. Okay. Well, I, I'll, I don't want to get stuck. I'll keep it on it. Okay. Keep it on it. Okay. Keep it on it. We got to go north on this road. That's what we got to do. Yeah. Well, it might have just hit a cell tower.
big tractor trailer that's been blown over. Oh, too. okay. What's what's looking at? Shot the camera. Off the roof. 